Hello Zimbabwe and uh, thank you for joining us on uh, Nehanda TV. My name is uh, Lance Guma. Um, it's an honor to have uh, Dr. Thomas Mukanya Mapfumo joining us on our first ever production of uh, Nehanda TV. Um, congratulations on a hugely successful history tour. Um, the obvious question is, for most of us growing up, we were always under the impression that uh, Oliver Mtukudze and Thomas Mapfumo are bitter rivals. Why? <laughs> so, uh... Why should you think I mean like that? Oliver, I mean, my friend, we, uh, we played music. I mean, whilst we are still uh, boys and still, we are still playing together. And I even gave him one of my songs to sing. He's a good friend of mine. Mm. But why is it that the media always had this uh, thing that know, uh, when you sing your songs, uh, you, were, you were aiming at each I other? I don't know why they do that, because I always talk to Oliver, and uh, whether he's in South Africa, whether he's, he's here, whether he's in Zimbabwe, sometimes I call him on the phone, and he calls me on the phone. We all talk, and would like to maybe one day work together. Uh, uh, record music together. He's a good friend of mine. Every musician in Zimbabwe, I mean, they are friends. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, one person we definitely know you're not friends with is uh, Winky D. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do you think that the media is making too much of it? He's a friend of mine. I don't. I don't care what he says about me. He's just a kid. He doesn't know what he's doing anyway. But he. Uh, He's, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, I, 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 I want him to take the right direction and do his music so that he can be appreciated in this world. Because you know today, uh, if you see uh, raga music, it's all about uh, that Jamaican stuff, you understand? But you, you have to do it, I mean, the Jamaican way. And you have to try and speak their language which is part one, and uh, people will understand you. This is what I, this, this was my advice to him. I don't know how he's taking it. Maybe he thought maybe I was, um, maybe blaming him for, for, for playing that, I mean, type of music. No. Is it not unique though that at least he's singing in Shona, which is no, a bit no, different no, no, from no, what no, the others No, are. no, that's, I'm, I'm trying, we are, we are trying, uh, uh, I mean, to to uh, uh, to spread our, our music uh, all over the world. So today, a lot of people are speaking English. You want to sell your music here abroad? You have to sing in English. This is what I told you. Yeah, because people want to hear what you are saying. Most of these people, they speak English. Even Chinese, they will ask you, why don't you record in English? Yeah. Well, of course, I mean, singing in our uh, mother language is not bad. Yeah. Like I do, we got Mbira music that we play. You cannot sing that in, in English. In yeah, that's something original. Okay. And uh, you cannot change that. But when you go into this jungle, you have to change. Look at I mean Lucky Dube. When he went into reggae music, he did it the right way. He was singing in English, so that the rest of the world, even the Jamaicans, they actually appreciated what he was doing because they could hear him, they could hear his lyrics. We are, I mean, it's a good advice because he wants money at, at the end of the day. You want to sell your music. So if you do it in Shona, you are, I mean, you're gonna be, your music is gonna be very limited. It will be the, it will be for the, for the locals, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, the, the news that dominated headlines around uh, this show are your reported plans to go back to Zimbabwe. There's a lot of excitement that after eight years you are finally coming back home. <laughs> Talk us through this. Um, is this true? But people say you are coming back home. That's my home. Coming back home. Where? I'm working here. Where everybody who is here in the, I mean overseas is working. 
and Zimbabwe is their home. And when they go there, they just go there, it's just their home. It's not coming back home, no. No, no, no. But, 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 but your fans back home yeah, in Zimbabwe yeah, miss well, you. Well, we have a long time without going back to, to play music for our fans, but at, at the same time, I know they miss us. We miss them too. But at the, at the same time, they should know that I am a Zimbabwean. Uh, when the, my grave will be in Zimbabwe, I will be there, no matter what it takes. Yeah. So, so are you looking at uh, just holding shows back home? Are you looking at the possibility of uh, um, settling back there permanently? Some, you know, people stay where they want to stay in this world. They are free to stay in, in anywhere. So, I'm so I, I take it you have no plans of going back. <laughs> I, I have plans to go back and play music, but I, uh, staying in America is another thing. That's where my family is. It's my other home. My you are enjoying it there. Yeah, I yeah I'm, uh, of course. Uh, you know, America is all about music, and you you wanna be at a place like that, where everybody is. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I've been looking at your itinerary for shows in, mm. in America. Very mm. busy. I oh, mean, yeah. you, you have oh, gigs yeah. all over. So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I understand you have a new album out, yeah. um, Danger Zones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it about? It's all also World on Fire. Because, uh, a lot of people have been uh, listening to our music, I mean, uh, criticizing maybe uh, the uh, political situation back home. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not that we had whoever in, who is in power, even uh, President Robert Mugabe. He's not, I don't, I, I, I like him. He fought in the struggle. He's our man. But we need to change our system so that we can look after the poor people, the people who are suffering today. They've been suffering for so many years, and we cannot let that go on. We have to do something so that those poor people should know that we are free and we got freedom. That, that's, that's what but, we... But it must be a tough one for you. I mean, you are in exile evidently because of the political situation mm -hmm. yet you still have friends within the system like webster shamu oh, yeah, is it, yeah, is a, good, is... a good friend of mine that's right i don't hate nobody i love everyone even the police force i have good friends the soldiers mm -hmm. my good friends i have a lot of good friends the army the police some ministers who are working with the government are good friends of mine and Webster, we went to school together. Yeah, and he's like part of my family. When I talk to him, I'm, it's like talking to my brother. Well, one person you have an interesting relationship with is uh, businessman Philip Chiangwa. Um, we <laughs> covered a lot of reports <laughs> about the war of words between uh, you and Mr. Chiangwa. Can you set the record straight? Well, was there a lot of media exaggeration no, or...? Yeah, that's exaggeration because, listen, Chiangwa's uh, family, uh, his brother, uh, what's his name? Uh, Balk. Oh. A oh, very, he yeah, was really a very good friend of mine. And even that other one, we had a bar, what's his name? Jimmy. 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 We, we are good friends. I, you know, I just like people who work for the people. That's where I'm coming from. When I, I, I don't wanna, Philip is one of our men and uh, if he has the money, he should also be able to help, the, I mean, the poor people. So if he is doing that, that's good. You have the money, help your people and so that they live a good life. I don't have uh, no conflict with him. I talk to him on the phone. We, he's always talking about arranging shows in Zimbabwe. And uh, I have always been willing to, to go back and play music as long as it is done in the uh, proper way. 
you know. But is there is a merit to his argument that it's it's much harder for someone of your stature mm -hmm. in exile than if you were in in Zimbabwe. Do you think you would be more successful in Zimbabwe than if you were in the United States? What what's your assessment? Uh, I, I I know if I'm back home, I will, there are a lot of um, things that you know I would like to do. Make uh, maybe work with the other the other musicians and do other things, and also I have a lot of uh, good friends there. Got uh, my uh, a lot of um, uh, fans who follow my music, and uh, like I told you, that's my home. It, if you are at home, yeah, the home home is where the heart is. They always say that you can go out there and work. But still come back home. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's been quite a, a journey for you. I mean, from the age of 16 when you first joined uh, your first band, uh, the Zutu Brothers. Yeah, okay. what, what would you highlight as the best moment of your career? <laughs> the best moment of my career, I would say, is the, uh, when I started playing. Um, my own music. Mm -hmm. Of course, I I played a lot of I mean different types of music like rock and roll, soul music, and other types of music. Yeah, that was good. But when I started doing my music, the feeling was really good because this was really Thomas Mapumo now. You know, understand? And uh, I was actually. Into my, I mean, trying, yeah, uh, I was trying to identify myself with my own people. I, I actually had to leave I mean, copyright music and start doing the type of music that I'm doing today. And what would you describe as the worst moment of your career? The worst moment was during the, the I mean, uh, the, liber uh, the uh, liberation war. We really had a. Uh, sometimes we we had a, you know hardships. You know, you, you know what I'm talking about. We used to tour the rest of Zimbabwe, and, uh, and when I mean uh, when the war was at its peak, we uh, we faced a lot of other things. I would like to to write a book. And that book is going to be very, very interesting. And other stories that people even don't know that will make people laugh. But, <laughs> but well, that was the worst moment because we were not free. But right now, our country is free. We need, as Zimbabweans, to put our heads together, make sure that everyone who is living in Zimbabwe is living a good life. We are trying to avoid, uh, I mean, uh, the blame that will come against us from those who were in the power yesterday. You understand? So if we devolve Zimbabwe, then the rest of the world will appreciate. Okay. Uh, on a lighter note, I mean, what sort of things do you do in your spare time? In the well, spare time I go to church Sunday. I go for the uh, I mean, for church service. And I practice music. I take it yours is not Masoe. <laughs> Which church is it? <laughs> yeah, 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 I, 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 I practice music. We, we sometimes go for fishing. <laughs> when we are, that's in America. We go for fishing. We, do other things like just uh, you know meeting friends, okay. talking about music. We got a lot of I mean uh, uh, friends who are also musicians and friends who are not musicians. So sometimes you are busy, you wanna uh, 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 write a song, you you, you wanna uh, talk to your family. You know, yes. Just like that, we meet the people that you, you love, you do your work. That's what I do. Mm. Final question. 
Uh, and this is a confession from me. Be before we conducted this interview, we had been warned by several people. And I know I'm going to go shout. And I must say, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big contrast from the warnings and, and meeting the actual person. You are a very jovial character. And, uh, do, do I look like the person who, who could do that? <laughs> but I, I suppose it's, it's, it's the impression a lot of is the impression a lot of people have of you, maybe, oh, from yeah. the way the, the yeah. media cover you. Mm, that's the, right. Yeah. You know, you are a very cash I'm, talk um, kind I'm of individual. An outspoken person. Mm. If you are a good, a good friend of mine, I will take it as it is. If you are, you have, maybe you are trying to be my enemy, I will try to change you. Yeah, I will try to change you to be my friend. And this is what I do. And when I tell you, or if, I, if I, I tell you the truth, then that's good. Why should I hide the truth? If you do bad things, I'll tell you, look, what you're doing is bad. If you do good things, I'll tell you, look, uh, this is very, very good. And uh, I, I, I would appreciate it. And maybe add something good to what you're doing. Dr. Mapumo, it's been a, a pleasure and an honor Having you on Neander TV. Thank you for joining us. Georgia.